Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we're at it again. We're doing a battle vid between the Galaxy Note 8 and the iPhone 10 in an LTE battle test. Now, we've done this before with the Note 8 and the 8 Plus, iPhone 8 Plus, so you can check that out using the cards in the top right hand corner. But this one will focus on the iPhone 10 versus, of course, the Galaxy Note 8, the latest from Apple, to see how it works. Now, just to let you know, the iPhone 10 um, is not a gigabit LTE device. The Galaxy Note 8 is. So we're going to see how that actually uh, fares in an environment that has gigabit LTE. We just came back from uh, San Jose. We experienced gigabit LTE and we had a test there. So we'll combine it in this video. But first, we're going to run through three tests. Both devices are on T-Mobile network. So it's on the same network. Uh, so they're pinging on the same and run on the same carrier. We'll be pinging similar locations for both devices just to see how well they work. The first test here in Brooklyn will have three tests that we'll run through and then in San Jose we'll do two tests there just so you guys can take a look at it. So let's go ahead and uh, find out. So we're pinging in New York City instead of New Jersey which is automatic. Starting off with the iPhone 10 and we're going to run our tests there and again this is not a scientific test guys so it's not something that you should take uh, that way but our uh, download speeds from the iPhone 10 are 29.73 which is a little lower than standard and uploads are 43.84 now when we move over to the Galaxy Note 8 uh, what we have here for downloads you can see already it's and it's uh, moving higher we have 101.44 for downloads and our uploads are 42.38 so the Galaxy Note 8 is just higher on downloads similar on uploads uh, to the iPhone 10. Now the iPhone 10 on our second try, it's now a little higher, actually much higher than that. We do have downloads of 48.80 and an upload of 42.11. So that's much better and that's around the normal rate I usually get with the iPhone 10. And on the Galaxy Note 8 here, our downloads are about 94.87 and 44.05. So again, much higher downloads, similar in terms of upload speeds. Now I will say this in New York, um, uh, I've gotten much, uh, about 140 for the Galaxy Note 8 in terms of downloads. Now the iPhone 10 here on our third try, 50.27 downloads, uploads 48.16. And our final try for the Galaxy Note 8, you will see here again, it is going to inch higher. Like I mentioned uh, just quickly there, we were able to get almost a 145 at least once in New York but here we have 95 93.53 and 45.59 so higher download similar upload speeds now when we move over to a gigabit LTE environment which was what we were in San Jose if you guys saw me on Instagram on Twitter you can see here pinging in the same locations in San Jose already uh, you're gonna see some really ridiculous speeds uh, 360.63 for downloads and then 44.16 for uploads for the Galaxy Note 8 but also you see an uptick in higher speeds for the iPhone 10 iPhone 10 is going to edge much higher uh, it's going to do 70.53 and 44.34 uh, so downloads and uploads here now on our second try uh, our Galaxy Note 8 dipped down a bit, so we were able to get 158.15 and then 45.02. So the uploads are still around the same for both devices in either environment. And the iPhone 10 is going to do roughly around 53.12 and 45.82 downloads and uploads. So as you can see here, um, it still does pretty well. The iPhone does pretty well in the gigabit LT environment, but the Galaxy Note 8 really smokes out. But the iPhone 10 actually, the highest I got was 145 in a gigabit LT environment. So this actually does benefit from that technology. So the winner clearly is the Galaxy Note 8 because it's a gigabit LTE device. Um, you know, it's, I would say it's not really a fair fight, but for me personally, I would like to see every device out there have gigabit LTE from every carrier, uh, uh, from every manufacturer. And also every carrier should support it because the speeds and also the benefits you're seeing there is that the fact that even a gigabit LT environment, the iPhone 10 actually was able to itch, etch up to higher speeds. But the Galaxy Note 8 is our winner here with, you know, much higher speeds on both regular LTE and Gigabit LTE. So if you have any questions or any comments, guys, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification icon, and always enjoy your entertainment.